back in sunny Southern California in Simi Valley at my home forge. And uh, this is where the magic happens. Most of this is armor shop, but I have all the tools for making blades and weapons. Now, when I make a knife, I use maybe two or three hammers, not very many. When I make armor, I can use 30 or 40 different hammers and many different shapes for stakes. Uh, all of my armor work is done hot using a rosebud torch. These are my two most prized possessions, and they don't really have any real value, but both of these were used in making the Statue of Liberty, and that holds a, a pretty special part um, for me being American. Hi, I'm Ryan Weaver, and this is my shop. Uh, this is kind of my heating, forging center. Uh, this is actually a propane uh, forge. This is my major uh, armor working station, and this is just a selection of the stakes. As an armor, I use a lot of different stakes, make a lot of different shapes to do all sorts of different stuff. Now, this is my gas saver, which these things are lifesavers if you're going to get into doing armor or anything like that. Oh man, it's just total game changer. I have a background in medieval martial arts. Armored combat, it's my favorite thing in the world to do. I'm Nicholas. I'm Dave. And we're gonna hit each other in the head with sticks. For fun. <laughs> and we do tournaments and melees, from one-on-one -on -one to a 1,000 guys on each side. It's fun. You get to hit your friends as hard as you can and then go have a beer with them after. Uh, that's all you get. I'm tired. 2012, I was part of the first US team to fight internationally in full contact steel fighting. But in order to make sure I had a steady flow of sparring partners, I ended up making a lot of armor. The problem with doing full contact steel combat is that first, it, it's hard on armor, and so there's a constant need to repair and replenish. And it's also hard on sparring partners. So there's, again, a constant need to repair and replenish. 